hi all uh, welcome to shankar's channel today i'll walk you through the demo of how we can set up the aws transfer family uh, specifically to um, sftp a fully managed sftp server um how you can set it up authenticate and uh, you make the full utilization of uh, this particular service uh, offered by aws so let's start uh first with creating a server since we are only uh, talking about sftp for this demo so we'll uh, is uh, will specific to uh, this one let's create next it says uh, identity provider type we'll choose service managed now since uh, i i haven't uh, created any you know a dedicated vpc for this we are uh, using just to make the demo easier we are using a publicly accessible however when you work in an enterprise uh, environment you would uh, prefer to choose vpc hosted uh, might be there is specific uh, vpc created uh, in your organization so uh, let's not uh, talk about this for now we'll choose the default one as is custom host name you have the option to uh, choose the uh, default server endpoint name so whether you can you have the any alias for uh, route 53 dns or any any external dns service that you are uh, you own or you're using so you can choose that for now we'll choose none create next so it says s amazon s3 and amazon efs will uh, focus into s3 bucket you have option to you know store access files in your efs file system over the selected protocols so uh, but now for now we'll choose s3 and here i'll choose the create a uh, new lock group will not use any existing things i'll choose uh, everything new so i'll i'll skip this for now we'll choose the default settings and optimize okay everything should be by default create next and then we'll review it and click create that's it so uh, the service is created and it's uh, really starting if you can see and has no users in it so again if you don't have any user you would not be able to access it so how it works is uh, since we have selected s3 bucket so it's our responsibility to have an s3 bucket spin up let's do this very quickly i'll say demo uh, bucket for sftp i'll choose everything by default disable everything I'll choose disable this as well. So the bucket is created. You can do n number of customizations uh, based on the requirements uh, from the client itself, and maybe uh, based on your you know security parameters. But this is since this is a demo and performing everything in the personal account, so let's uh, not uh, get into deep dive. If you would like to cover any s3 bucket related uh, topics i have the playlist uh, from the s3 bucket you can uh, go ahead and watch those videos so since our bucket is created and when bucket is created the next thing we it comes to our mind is role a specific role for this the reason i'm choosing this if i go back and it's a starting it's not yet created Meanwhile, so starting, we what we can do is we can add user. So when we add user, it asks us for the role, right? So this is uh, what we are going to uh, do now. Okay, create role. I'll choose the AWS service because I have uh, chosen uh, the use case for it. And since we are doing the transfer, so AWS transfer family is a service we are, we are using. So transfer is be more appropriate click next so it's asking us to uh, have the policy so i will not do anything i'll say next and now since it has role here so i'll click uh, i'll say demo role for sftp keep everything as is what we can do is uh, if we can click edit here
okay i uh, will avoid this and i'll complete this once the role is created so i'll have this role created first role is created now if i go to the role there is something called permission policies i'll create the inline policy right here okay so i'll choose json because i already have it uh, in my next tab so i have the policy open it's from the aws official article document uh, for this so i'll come here and do some uh, modification not a huge modification is just modifying our bucket name so uh, we have chosen demo bucket sorry demo bucket for sftp and the same we'll use bottom okay now click next policy name is demo policy for sftp and it's it says uh at the access level of using this policy would be limited to a read list write permissions management okay create policy the policy is created and the role is also created so we have demo role for sftp we go back to our uh, username demo user for sftp we are in now back to the sftp configuration so don't get confused there i'll choose i'll refresh it once so that whatever we have created is available demo role for sftp it's right here and using the home directory if you've created the bucket we can say it restrict restricted folder i'll choose this i'll say restrict the reason i'm choosing this i'll i'll i'm trying to make the a uh, point here if you check this uh box it means whatever folder you are uh giving here user would be able to access only this folder into this bucket not even the other folders not even the content other content and the bucket name as well so if you restrict this user will only be able to access the contents of this folder only so the very first uh, root folder would be this for the user would be logging to this bucket or sftp connection okay so uh since we don't have any folder created in the s3 bucket so let's create this folder we we created the bucket but we did not create the folder let's create this folder restricted hyphen folder okay i'll you choose the default settings the folder is created come back to the configuration i'll not enable the uh, public key for now i'll say add the user is added so now we have a uh, server set up its endpoint we will be using this and we'll be using this user who has the permission defined under this role and along with that we have uh, these much of configurations okay so we are doing everything uh, only associate in association with s3 bucket so one more thing i would like to do here since we have created this user but for this user there should be something to authenticate so we'll add ssh public key so we don't have ssh public key how you can generate it go to bash ssh key jam creating the ssh key so what i'll do is i'll choose demo ssh key for sftp okay now i'll say yes yes no passphrase and then okay what it did it simply did it create it created a public key and the pam key and since public key and pam key is created okay let me copy the content i'll take the pause here and be back Okay, I'm back. I have pasted it in my desktop, so I'll open this public key. 
just once and say this and now we'll go back to this uh, it says public key paste it here click add key the key is added now we'll be able to access this uh, sftp and when we upload any folder or the text or any file to it it would not it would uh, be uh, uploaded here uh, directly into the s3 bucket under this folder because we have set it like this only so since we have a s3 bucket we have sftp and what we don't have is the private key to access the bucket but what do we have as of now is the public key and the pam file so using that pam file we'll create it we'll, we'll convert that uh, uh, to the private key and I hope you must have uh, gone through the initial videos of mine where I showed you how you can do it through putty gen. So I'll take a pause, I'll convert it and be back. All right, I'm back and now I have the key. So let's open WinSCP or you can use Cyberduck or uh, uh, Cloudberry, whatever you prefer. So the host name would be nothing but uh, the endpoint endpoint is right here in the, in the server configuration just the endpoint from here user would be what we have defined you demo user for sftp I say advanced because we don't have password we have the key Next stop no. click ok login say yes reading remote directories see so this remote directory is nothing but the restricted uh, folder so the very first uh, directory that it used is the restricted folder and what I'll do is I'll try to uh, copy this PNG upload was successful what it says is turn off setting permission of presuming timestamp so there are something uh, related to this timestamp stuff which is uh, the settings on the of an SAP. I'll ignore it for now. Okay. So transfer settings is it's right here. And other than that, you can uh, choose these preferences options and you can choose the timestamp. So for now, uh, what I did is I pasted, I transferred an, in a file of picture. And let's see if I go to S3 bucket. Okay, I'm here, I'll refresh this once like this. And if I go into restricted folder, I'll see this. Uh, but what I did is I just configured the SFTP protocol, SFTP uh, endpoint, I'm sorry. So just by using the SFTP endpoint and the login details, I'm able to transfer or upload the data to um, SD bucket and that's how it you know it works very fast and that's the reason we have this service uh, from AWS so rather than you know copying and pasting the stuff when you enter uh, work in an enterprise they were you set up the architecture wherein you enable the uh, data upload uh, automatic data upload uh, process as well so you use this SFTP to uh, have the quick upload right this is the we uh, generally organization prefers this uh, as the quick and fast upload when there is a huge data or maybe any any backup and the configuration files that we need to store all right that's all uh, from this sftp point of view i hope you enjoyed the video i wish you good luck when you do it on your own thanks for watching